This is Witchspace News for Friday the 29th of November 2019. I'm Commander Burr. In this weeks news ...the January update beta and its associated patch notes go live. If you're an SRV racing aficionado then December may be your month. It's Black Friday for Elite as well and we'll have a quick bout of community news. If you find this video useful hit like and subscribe and remember to click the little bell icon. You can also join the Burr Pit community on our Discord server and if you want to help support the work of this channel you'll also find us on Patreon. Links to everything you need are in the description below. The beta for the upcoming January update went live this week and with it a new set of patch notes detailing what's included in the beta. Along with the first raft of fixes and changes to the game there's a couple of hidden gems in there we previously didn't know about. Included in the beta is a set of new faction states for the background simulation adding more granularity to the existing set of states and potentially things that need players attention when tending to a systems wellbeing or otherwise depending on what you're trying to achieve. Amongst the new system states are gems like infrastructure failure, terrorism, natural disasters and public holidays. Each one having knock on positive or negative effects on a system and in some cases the surrounding systems. And each one can be countered by delivering appropriate goods or taking other appropriate action in the system. As a UK citizen I'm hoping that more granularity can be added to the BGS in future to account for system states such as brexiting, ineffectual political system, embarrassing royal blunder and a system state of just inner state. In other changes a supply and demand volume tracker has been added to a number of high end minerals meaning mining and selling of minerals such as void opals is about to become more realistic as demand and therefore the selling price of the great money hose will drop as demand is met. Also the high end minerals listing which also includes things like low temperature diamonds and painite will now be demanded by more specific economy types. If you were ever going to exploit the current they just sell by the bucket load system in the main game now would seem to be the time. And AI crew members across the galaxy can be heard cheering with delight and frankly relief as it seems that they have at last been granted the use of an escape pod if and when your ship is destroyed. On the ship rebuy screen there's now an option to rescue the crew for a modest fee should you so desire. Meaning that all progress you would have lost on that guy you've been nurturing can now at last be saved and the poor crew members themselves will get to see their family again. Worst career choice ever. It's worth noting that this is still just a test and so the patch notes are not an exhaustive list of what will definitely be in the update. For more details check out the link in the description. There are two upcoming SRV specific events that we wanted to give you a heads up on for December. The Buckyball Racing Club is scheduling a new event for the week of the 14th to the 21st of December. This will be the third in the series of total recall events where participants must fly to a series of named planet installations and then drive an SRV a prescribed distance from the base and then recall their ship. Something that would definitely suit the practitioners of the SRV technique known as fliving. And right after the total recall event closes the second of the Danger Zone Galactic Archives Scully Powers Progress 500 races kicks off on the 22nd of December. If you've seen our previous SRV race videos from Scully Powers Progress or the race that Frontier live streamed a couple of weeks back which should be linked on screen about now then you'll know all about these. Whilst the races themselves take place on the 22nd of December commanders can actually participate and log time trial laps around the course right now until the 22nd. Details for everything you need are linked below. Just a quick heads up that Elite Dangerous is on sale for PC on Steam for the absolute steal price of 10 quid right now. If you're thinking of a second account for say exploration or bubble duties etc then don't wait. Also the usually once a year midnight black and stygian paint jobs are available as of my reading this until the 2nd of December. Do not wait if you covet them. And just to ensure that your arcs balance is completely dry 
There's 33% off all ship kits and Kovas in ship voice packs at the moment. And finally a couple of bits of community news that caught our eye this week. The always entertaining Commander Wotherspoon OBE, MCRN, BBQ, No Fixed Abode, What Time's Lunch posted an interview with the pilot of the Gnosis Megaship after it collided last week with an inconveniently placed orbital outpost. You'll find that in the description below. And there's a video on Reddit that I've linked below posted by Commander Silent Doody showing the finale of a trip organised by the Beautiful Corners AI driven tour company to see a black hole that actually made me drop my sandwich. If the opportunity comes your way for a similar tour maybe give it a miss. Just saying. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then 07 CMDRs follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time.